Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 15th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the sun for the past two days, and no major M-class or X-class solar flares to report. Some strong C-class and no major filaments to report either but definitely watching a large plasma filament in the southeastern region of our sun a couple of coronal mass ejections but we're not earth directed looking at the last 48 hours incoming we do have an active sunspot region getting ready for the earth facing party and on the right hand side here plasma filament you can see that stretching from the surface And that's what we've been watching all week is very active plasma filaments on our sun. Looking at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, notable plasma filaments there, equatorial and southeast region. We also have earth-facing coronal hole. As you can see here on another light. And that did increase our solar wind speeds, minor geomagnetic instability. Having a closer look here at the plasma filament that I'm a little bit concerned about as this thing stretches across the southern hemisphere. This long rope that is being very hyperactive stretches across the south pole. So, heads up, stay aware, prepared. That's what this is all about with daily events worldwide, daily updates on our sun and earthquakes. Just amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Another way to see our sun and its active four sunspot regions. One in the north is growing quickly. 3894. And as well, 3892 is a little bit active as well. Looking at these sunspot regions in motion. The surface of our sun is alive. And I'm grateful that we are too. Thank you so much for pressing play today. And welcome to the channel. Current space weather conditions. We are under our one minor radio blackout impacts expected to high frequency radio communications. Solar winds are coming in at 412 kilometers per second. And that is up from yesterday. You can see the impacts today upwards of 500 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux reporting minor M-class and a strong C-class solar flare today. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity up to a KP 2.5. And Space Weather Prediction Center here showing the most recent solar storm that was thwarted our way as you can see arrival date 16th into the 17th nothing major though not like what we've seen in the last little while iswa space prediction spiral no new events to report but looking at the right hand side we are in the middle of a space weather activity Tonight's Aurora forecast versus tomorrow's Aurora forecast. Aurora forecast for the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Solar maximum, solar cycle 25 is definitely putting on a show so far. We've seen multiple X-class and strong flare events. Large plasma filaments interacting across the surface of our sun. Heliosphere is changing. Having a look at those solar winds pounding our planet right now, left-hand side is solar wind speed, right-hand side, solar wind pressure. And that's what it looks like so far, as we are still expecting this most recent geomagnetic event, minor. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2 showing... The last three days of imagery and coronal mass ejections taking off from our sun. 
And again, nothing major has been shot out our way. But notable large eruption on the 12th right there. That was in an outgoing position. Did produce a large coronal mass ejection. All these images brought to you by Soho and NASA. <clears throat> Put together here with daily events worldwide. And again, thanks so much for watching. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's getting busy again. Started out the day with a strong 6.6 .6 shaker, Papua New Guinea. Kokopo, Papua New Guinea, 51 kilometer depth, 6.6 .6 magnitude. A couple aftershocks following through the region, 4.5, 123 kilometer depth. Recently, a 4.4 .4 here in Periemen, Indonesia. North Sumatra, as well a 5.5 .5 earthquake here south of Australia, Bellany Islands region, and Tonga region there with a 5.4 and a 5.0, 4.8. New Caledonia, as that's been a pretty, pretty quiet region, some new activity rising there. Notable earthquake here, Pahala, Hawaii, 4.1 magnitude earthquake. Earth seismicity has been increasing all week as well through the Aleutian Islands, Adak, Alaska with a 5.1, and as well at two station with the 4.7 yesterday. North American plate seeing an increase in seismicity as well. Notable Round Valley, California, 3.9 earthquake, as well as 3.4 there, Bandon, Oregon, 2.8 Friday Harbor, Washington, 48 kilometer depth though. That's a pretty strange depth for the region. And then let's just have a look at USGS as they're reporting 196, which is still below average 24-hour period. Just recently there, Indonesia and the Round Valley, California. All of the reds being the most recent and as well, most recent activity at Hawaii. But let's just have a closer look across the United States. as there has been movement straight across the New Madrid. Ridgely, Tennessee with a 2.2. Some spreading activity through Oklahoma, Deer Creek, and Union City. Pleasanton, Texas, still minor seismicity there. And of course, all across the California state. Notable 3.9, Round Valley, California. And as well, up into the Pacific Northwest, but all around the world right now, seismographs are going crazy. We're seeing activity all across this planet right now. After that strong 6.6 .6 earthquake this morning, Papua New Guinea, 6.8 earthquake, Cuba, which was a pretty rare place for the earthquake. Heads up, this is not over yet. Just wait until December when we get the Mercury retrograde. We're going to see some big changes, big earthquakes. 4.9 earthquake here in Tigua, east of Puerto Rico. Notable earthquake for the region and as well all across the Mediterranean here. 4.2 earthquake, Italy, 266 kilometer depth. As well, there's minor seismicity, Azores, towards La Palma. Turkey, 4.9 there. Huge low pressure system in the Northern Hemisphere right now. That's a lot of pressure up there. A lot of moisture and a lot of cold, dense air. Let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers. Largest being the 6.8 Cuba and just recently 6.2 Kokopo, Papua New Guinea. Heads up, North American plate up into the Juan de Fuca plate. Now let's have a look at weather as we have very strong typhoon Manyi or Pepito. As it is here forecasted for the northern islands of the Philippines. Narrowing its, its path to Manila. Major populated region of the Philippines. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Satellite imagery I wanted to share here with you as well. 
all the snowfall across the state of Colorado. The most recent Colorado low dumped about 25 centimeters of snow, and it is visible here. Satellite imagery, 25 centimeters of snow falling across the high altitudes of Colorado and all across the West Coast right now, Pacific Northwest, higher altitudes, seeing some heavy snowfalls and forecasts. Having a look here, world weather across North America, strong low pressure system coming from the north and as well a big, big extreme weather event for Texas and central United States and Plains. Very nasty weather situation developing here in the long range. Please share this with your friends and family. This system will eventually bring Canada's first winter storm. And then long range forecast, huge strong low pressure system pounding into the west coast, British Columbia, Washington and California. This is where we will see some heavy snowfall totals in all Sierra Nevadas, Washington State and Oregon. But I've been posting all week, still got some very large low pressure systems raging across our northern hemisphere right now having a look at snowfall totals here east versus the west across north america heavy snowfall upwards of 180 centimeters in these deep red regions greens yellows about 20 centimeters of snow so winter is right around the corner and so is the polar vortex setting up for that to be so Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you want to see the most recent detailed weather forecast two nights ago video, thanks for watching. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily tip.